my job is to make science fun, but my job is also to come up with really good illustrations so people never forget the science. This is one right. of those where you say, so I've seen the videos before, but maybe I don't understand why. And once you understand why, all the science starts to click. So that makes sense? Yeah. So here's the plan. I'm gonna show you a quick little thing, and then uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a Christmas tree, and I'll bring it back to the very end. Fair enough? Okay. That's the plan. I never Because we don't have a plan. tree right here, no, we're not and we don't like, need to do I've that. Done that. so many times with <laughs> nice people in Littleton and Englewood and Denver. Put on your safety glasses. Okay. Let me show you a powder here. This is a powder called lycopodium. Okay. Lycopodium is uh, is used by special effects artists, and it's actually a spore. So I'm going to put some down here on the uh, on the little pan. And the reason that uh, special effects artists will use it is because of this. Here, watch this. If I light they this get... on fire, nothing happens. See that? Mm -hmm. nothing. So an entire barrel of it, it can't catch on fire. fire. But if you take this spore that's here, and look at how fine it is. Watch this. <sighs> See that? Nice. So if you take that spore and you put it in the air, now you've got oxygen around each one of those. And so now, take uh -huh. a look at this. This will look just a little bit different, okay? So now this goes here. And so mm -hmm. now let's take some of that, that spore, that lycopodium here, and now just a small amount comes out here. Watch this. See, that's there you different. Go. Very so now different. This is very, very, very different. So I've got a way for you to be able to do it. So here, see, this goes down into this little contraption. Oh, that I made, Which is good. So now I have to warn uh, people to do a wide shot on this because you want to see kind of a wide shot on this. Okay. So if I hold it here like this, so you see the fire. So you've got so your watch this. flame. See? <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That's pretty awesome, huh? That would be you like stage effects and type here? of things. Okay, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what does that have to do with a Christmas tree? Well, look at this. If I take a great big huge uh, piece of wood and I try to light it on fire, it's really hard to get a piece right. of wood lit on fire. So you take small little pieces of kindling, correct? Uh -huh. So take a look at this. The reason this is so dangerous if it dries out is look at all of the oxygen. You can't see it, but imagine this is just like the lycopodium I was playing with. When you put the oxygen around each one of those, when one catches on fire, on fire. then it catches the next and so forth. And so you've got oxygen around it, all right? Take a look at this video and I'll show you the difference between a tree that has been watered properly properly and a tree that has not. The one on the left has not been watered properly, okay. the one on the right has. They both start so. on fire exactly at the same time, courtesy of the National Fire Protection Association. Look at what happens, how quickly this goes up. The other, now, one. The other one, it's really the material that's down below that's on fire, but sure. that's a well-watered tree. It doesn't want to catch on fire. Look in just the small amount of time, the one on, there on the left-hand side is just completely engulfed in flames. And that's because you've just got so much oxygen around it and it uh, is dried out. So there's a couple things that we need to, to be uh, careful of when we're taking care of, of those trees. First of all, if you have a, a real tree, when you bring it home, you're going to cut it off and give it a nice clean cut. Mm -hmm. Unless they're at the uh, at the lot, they're going to do that do for that you. Do that for you. They say in the first day it can absorb as much as two or three gallons of water. Wow. So you put it in a five gallon bucket and you fill it up and you just really hydrate that tree. Hydrate the whole thing. And you can't let it dry out. Once it dries out, it needs a new cut and you're going to have to, and hopefully it would never dry out. Right. So, such is the case. Well, okay. So this last Be careful. Piece here. Yes. Let's, let's see this, it again. So this is, this is a can. So oh we gosh. This. So you got to go bigger. Of course he does. Well, of course, if you've got a can, so you see the can that looks like this. Uh -huh. Now I don't know if you can see it down inside, but see there's a little fire that's Oh, I can see enough can of a see, glimmer. Can you see yeah, I don't want to get too close. There's a fire that's inside here. I'll show you like this. Okay. All right. They say I have to go fast. All right, all right, oh gosh. Go. This is the one here. Ready? Okay. Three, two, two one. Whoa. Nice. See what happens when you contain it? Bam.